Hello everybody, my name is Ben Coates and I'll be uh, doing a assembly tutorial series for you guys uh, for a while anyway, just to get you, you know, used to assembly and getting it all working for you. Sort of clearing some things up. Doing this tutorial because uh, I've seen a lot, a lot of these on YouTube and none of them I think have been up to a satisfactory standard. There have been some that have been great and there have been some that are not so great anyway to sum it up. So basically I'm going to try and do my best to do this. So anyway, my website if you want to go see it. Um, Alright, let's get started on the first tutorial. Alright, we will be doing 16-bit <coughs> assembly for the first chapter because uh, this this is this is a good starting point to get you used to assembly. Um, these programs will be using DOSBox to emulate them, however, um, <coughs> you can if you're running a 32-bit system, you can actually directly run them. But if you're using a 64-bit system, you will not be able to. Uh, the only reason I, I'm actually running a 32-bit system at the moment, reason why I'm not uh, doing it, actually just running them directly, is because uh, so I can show everybody the generic way to do it. I suggest even if you do have a 32-bit system, you download DOSBox and, and follow the tutorial. Alright, so the first so the first lesson that we're going to be doing is setting up a suitable uh, programming environment. Uh, for this, we'll we'll be needing a few tools and things. So we'll be needing firstly an assembler. Uh, we're going to be using Masm for this. Uh, I've I've included 32-bit and 64-bit versions as well. Um, a linker. We'll be using the the link the linker that comes with um with Masm. Um, uh, so you basically have just bundled together a big tool set, big tool set that I use. Uh, here's the download link here, so you can go ahead and download that if you'd like. Uh, well, you sort of have to for this tutorial. Uh, in the package provided, installs for DOSBox and MASM32 are provided. Uh, you will need to install DOSBox where it doesn't really matter, but where, where, wherever you want on your system. Next thing you'll need to do is extract the files in a pack uh, in the package wherever you please. However, remember to note down where you extracted the files, as this will be important for the next step. So, for example, for me, I've extracted my files here, so I'll need to right-click, copy this link, uh, and yeah, basically this is all this. You won't have things like this or this or this here, but basically, um, you you will have this this um, this 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 probably won't have that, but even if you do, just delete it because I should actually provide a link for the 32-bit linker as well. This also, you will need a 32-bit linker, um, and you'll have a few other things as well. I think you'll have NASM and all that sort of good stuff. So anyway, go ahead and download that and install it somewhere. Uh, the in Inside the installers uh, folder, you'll have these three. I, I suggest you install the top two. Don't worry about NASM32 for the moment. Um, yep. Okay, so once you've uh, extracted all the files, uh, you'll need to go to, okay, so we'll need to edit the DOSBox configuration. For that, you go to your start menu and you type DOSBox, or if you're running Windows 8, swipe to the right, hit search, type DOSBox. Uh, if you're running XP, you'll need to go start all programs, uh, DOSBox, I think, and then DOSBox 0 0.74 options. So. Yeah, see, DOS box options. Uh, <coughs> then you'll need to scroll all the way down to the bottom, where it says auto exit. And here you can you, you can put uh, whatever you want in here. I I, I like to put uh, my mount here because when you start DOS box by default, you don't have your C drive mounted. This letter here is actually optional. You, well, not optional, but you can put whatever you want here. So just except for Z. I think. Um, then this is where you'll need to put the path you just noted down. So generally what I like to do in the auto exec is mount my path, uh, C here, C column which is basically uh, referring to here. You can use whatever you want here again. Uh, clear the screen, uh, echo out working directory so I know what I'm doing, and uh, slash w echo on, and then we return to the main prompt. This this is basically my configuration. You, you can do whatever you'd like. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so once you so yeah, see so you can do whatever you'd like here. I, I suggest you put your uh, your assembly the files that you extracted in C colon assembly just so it's easily to, easy to reference. 
um, yeah. So now, um, so, so, so now that you've done that, I suggest you give it a bit of a test run. By that, you just go type DOSBox. I suggest you use no console as well. DOSBox will start up, and there you go. You, 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 I've got my configuration working great. Um, yep. Okay. So that, that concludes this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll be talking about CPU and their registers.